Earlier this year, golf's governing body was forced to defend all-male clubs, which deliberately excluded women from this sport. Many people argue that there are no reasons why men and women players can't train together in some of the world's most exclusive clubs. So does a sport push women to the sidelines? In a moment, we'll find out more from <laughs> golfers Gary Lee, who coaches women in golf, and also Diane Robertson, who's been playing golf for over 20 years. But first, Francis Legg has this story on how the country of India is embracing women's golf. In this part of Indian Kashmir, men caddy and watch while women tee off. More than 20 players are taking part in a tournament which aims to promote golf in the valley. The Royal Spring Golf Course has been a buzz with women golfers from all over the country since the tournament commenced on Tuesday. The course in the foothills of Zabawan in India's north is as picturesque as it is challenging. Simi Mera is a professional golfer who initiated the tournament. She says she'd always wanted to do something for the aspiring women lovers of golf. This tour was started for ladies because when I came back from America, I was playing alone. Now, after seven years, we have 20 girls playing with us. Basically, we're providing a platform in which women can participate. The golfers were excited to be part of the three-day tournament and were mesmerised by the beauty of Royal Spring Golf Course. Popularity of sports as a profession is increasing among both men and women. People are now realising that they can choose sports as a profession. This is the second time the tournament has been organised in the state. Women of all ages and stature participated with enthusiasm to showcase their talent in the sport. Golf is a popular game for women across the world, although they don't compete with men. Some say it's one of the few sports where men and women could, in theory, compete quite fairly. But use of the green is still a contentious issue. The sport continues to discriminate against women when it comes to use of the same facilities as their male counterparts. The Women's Sport and Fitness Foundation says men-only policies damage the reputation of the sport. The charity works to get women more involved in sport and claims that in Scotland, 15% of men play golf once a month, compared to just 2% of women. India has nearly 200 registered golf courses, but some 50% of them are situated on military bases, making them inaccessible to ordinary people. The efforts here in Kashmir ensure that women no longer need to be on the fringe, but can practice, compete and achieve as they like. Well, it takes me back to the one and only time I've ever played golf. When is that? First shot, first swing, hole in one. Very good. Impressive stuff. Well, joining after us... after that, I took, me, it took me 90 shots to get to the next hole. <laughs> 90 shots. That's pretty good. <laughs> Better than me. That's like uh, a handicap of 94 or something. I don't even know what a handicap is, but maybe our guest can tell us, because joining us in the studio now is a professional golfer, Gary Lay, who coaches ladies golf, and also Diane Robinson, who's won many tournaments in her 20-year golfing stint. It's a pleasure to join and welcome you guys to the studio. Welcome. Thank Indeed. You. So, Indeed. professional, have you won tournaments and everything? So we're looking at professional I'm, golfers here. I'm not a professional. No, she's... I'm, but you've won tournaments. Yeah. I've won a cup at Wimbledon Park Golf Club. With really? A, with a... I mean, look, first and foremost, um, we, we hear about the discrimination of women not being allowed to play golf, same as men's club. What, what is the issue? Is that still ongoing? Not really, not in this country as much. I mean, they, um, I, all the women that come to ours, uh, you know, they have no issues at all. It's quite a nice, relaxed place at uh, Central London Golf Centre. And um, no, it, it, it might be when you go to a private club or two, it tends to be a little bit... Oh. I mean, I'm assuming, I mean, looking at the story that we've had from India, that women's golf has taken off in this country over the last few years because a country like India, Pakistan, they always follow on from something that's happening here in the UK. So it's big, is it, Dan? Well, yeah, I would say golf is getting much more um, a sport that ladies want to play. You meet really nice friends through it. It's very social and it's quite levelling because you go out there and you, you've all got a handicap, so... You, you now, let's just talk about the, the handicap, because he, he hasn't got a clue what you're talking what about. Hand, what does handicap mean? Yeah. Well, in this country we've got a system where the ladies would be 36 handicap, which means you're 36 over the par for, 
for the course. Okay. So you've got like 36 extra shots to say professional on itself, which I'm scratch. I see, I see. Now, you can go around 1,000 over. Yes, and still have a th handicap 36 in ladies, but the men have 28 handicap. So usually when you play golf, because I'm sure there's people watching in the Muslim community right now that actually may not have never played golf, you've probably driven past golf clubs, um, you see them or on the signboards. Or they have a Volkswagen Golf. Or they have a Volkswagen Golf, and they don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, in terms of golf generally, not going back to the bare basics, but usually when you play golf, you have a number of holes that you have to hit, is that right? Yeah, you have generally 18 holes. We, well, our course is nine holes, but you go around twice to get your handicap. Yes. Um, but the handicap system, you can just do the nine holes and then do another one. Really interesting. Yeah, and um, and it's fun. And even if you can't play golf, it's a social thing. And uh, so, so you, you you look like you've been playing golf for maybe a couple of years as, as a young a few, person, yeah. and you know, <laughs> forty odd years. Yeah. <laughs> really impressive. And what really motivated you in terms of starting golf? Well, I was actually a football player, but I broke my leg when I was quite young. Really? So it was the only way to build up my leg was to play golf. Wow. wow. And it took off. Oh, there's a fair bit of walking involved. I mean, it's a yeah. fairly ex healthy exercise. It's about four miles, I think. Yeah. Four miles. Every One, time you do. 18. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Or if you play like I do, you, you probably walk a lot further. Because you're trying to pick the ball up and hit yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but look, on, on a serious note, I mean, women and men, are they able to compete with, against each other at the same time, similar to Wimbledon tennis? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they can. On the amateur side, they can. Mm. Um, and professionally, okay. it's, it's, it's different tournaments? Professionally, they tend to se separate them. You've got the ladies' tour, you've got the men's tour. Um, and, yeah, it's still a little bit like that. They, it, if it says an open, you would think the ladies would go into the men's open. But there's been an issue with that, because if a lady can come in there, why can't the men go into the ladies' mm. one? So they're still keeping mm. it a little bit separate. Well, look, stay with us, and we'll, we'll talk about how people can get involved into the game and, and what are the key essential ingredients that they require to play. What about success for women in golf? I mean, what level are we at now? Worldwide? Very high, actually. But the trouble is, it's not in the media eye. Uh, mm. They tend to go for the men's uh, golf, but ladies, you know. The... I mean, you hear it once in a while on, on, on the odd news bulletin, etc. Yeah. No, I don't think it wasn't. The British Open wasn't on the BBC this year, was it? I don't think it was. I think it was on Sky. What about actual the equality laws? So, I mean, the equality laws have come into the UK. Um, how did that impact you personally, um, Diane? Uh, my golf club, Wimbledon Park, they had to bring in equality a couple of years ago. So, obviously, we started paying the same fees and we then could play at any time we wanted, Saturday or Sunday. But, but there are still the odd golf club, private club, that's still it's flat in the law, isn't there? I think there's a, a few, and mm. it's that because they're member member organisations. It's up to the members to vote, and probably there's more men male members. Mm. Indeed. So and, well, look, all this look, golfing talk has actually to... made it really interesting because we can see three things here. What yeah. are these? Um, and I, Gary? I can also see that if you want to be a golfer, you need to lose one glove. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's Michael to do Jackson with style. Fashion. <laughs> uh, all the Michael Jackson sort of thing like that. It's actually to do with grip because it's then. a weaker hand. You see, so you have to grip the club. Uh, otherwise, it will. So that's out. on the weaker hand. Yeah. But uh -huh. in my right hand, so, okay. And then the yep. right hand, because I'm a right-handed, is my stronger grip. Uh -huh. uh, okay. They uh -huh. tried it with two gloves, but now what about these clubs? I'm assuming yeah. one of them is a putter. A putter. Yes. There yeah, you the go. Hole. That's it. The putter. Just lift it up a bit for us, Gary, so we can see it on the camera. Great. Well, that, is that the one up? where you're you're, yeah. you're you're quite close to getting the ball into the hole? Yeah. Yeah. So and it's a feel thing. This one's the actual for the feel, Very and nice. it runs along the ground. Even though there's a little bit of a slope on that three degrees, you'd put it like that in the hole. And what wow. what kind of club would you use to actually give it a good whack so it goes that really could be far? The big woods, or this one's actually what they call a hybrid, so it's in between an iron and a wood. Okay. But these ones would go. 200 yards. Um, How many yards? Like 200 yards. 200 yards. 200 yards. Well, I think I'm meters 200 now. 200 yards. Well, I can't, but anyway, okay, so maybe 100 yards. Is that yards the length of a football ladies. pitch? What, what's that, a couple of miles? Yeah, a couple yes. of miles. Right. You see, there <laughs> I go, the ladies would hit a little bit shorter than the men, so, and that's all not yeah, necessarily. But we would hit it straight. True. No, what about this? I'm assuming this, this last straight. one is this when you're trying to like dig yourself out of a hole. Yeah, is that this right? one's a bit when you get in the sandbank. <laughs> yes, when you're in the sand, bank. <laughs> in the sand yes, you'd use a sand iron. Um, this one I'll be um, for myself 150 yards away. Diane would probably be something like a seven. Oh, wow. Well, look, we're Brilliant. going to have a challenge yeah, later on to yeah, see we'll what we actually know about this. Yeah. We'll even talk about. Albatross and eagles. Really yeah, go for it. Hey, you didn't know that, did you? That one, indeed. <laughs> and where that well, came from. Yeah. Well, now then, 
Uh, what are those cups on the floor, Naeem? I think you meant to kneel down and drink water from them. <laughs> I think that's a mock golf course. hole. Course. <laughs> Living the life golf course. Well, okay. I think we've got our own challenge coming up now then. Gary, go Toby, ahead you, you have, Gary, you want to show us how it's done first? Go on, I'll go for it, Gary. Done, or we could have ladies versus the men. Ladies first, come on then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, this will now, be, this uh, is a putter, as they the call putter, it. Yeah, um, and we hold it slightly different to the main one. We, like, grip it and not to rip it, it's just a feel. Okay. okay. So there goes the ball. Okay. Right, hold on, hold on. We're just going to give you a count now. Give you a count down. Okay, ready, die. So, and you just... Five. Oops. There he goes. There you go. Look. Oh, that very really good. It, good shot there. Very so good shot. Go. It's really funny if Dan gets this in. <laughs> Come on, Dan. Go on, Dan. Go on, Dan. Do it. Oh, oh, oh no. very close there. No way, Nia. Yeah. No. All right, <laughs> let's give you one more try then. Toby, you want to give us a, and you take another shot. And he's got it in. Oh, there we go. Toby, you want to give us a shot, see if you, uh, yeah, don't look at them two. They're not, they're not for putting. Last time I played golf, first and only I got thrown out of a driving range. Let's get Toby a shot then. There you go. Seymour and Dan's put the ball in the perfect position for you. Very good, very good. All right, so Toby, three. Two, he thinks he's playing one, there he goes with the shot. Oh, oh not bad at uh, all. This not time bad the ladies all. win. So that was pretty more. good. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Very good. Well, listen, what are the, what are the main things that people Ridiculous. need to, to start taking up golf? They don't need anything. They can just go along to a golf taste or a golf course and they'll get lent. A so a what's, what, what's the dress code like? Because there are lots of Muslims that I'm sure are being inspired by what they're seeing right now. Um, there may be Muslim women. As you know, Muslim women often wear the, the hijab, which is the long dress. Um, would that be acceptable in a golf club, in your golf club? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, golf club, it's uh, acceptable. Yeah. It's yes. One thing we don't, well, even our place, we allow jeans, but other places. You know, one thing I wouldn't accept if, if I had a golf club was a man in a purple shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm only true. kidding. We don't allow that one. Red and uh, socks as well. Yeah. We don't allow red socks. <laughs> red, red socks with spots. That's not very good. <laughs>